What's going on everyone? I have a new updated TGM macro video for you guys here. I noticed some of my other videos, they don't really show everything because I kind of assumed you guys know how to macro, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it from a basic beginner. So let's get started with the video. Let's open up our browser. Once we're on the browser, we can type in TGM macro. Once we're here, it'll be the source forge link. So we'll press on this and then we'll hit download. Once downloaded, we can open up the file location and then we can extract the file we just downloaded. So we extract the file. Once we extracted the file, we can go ahead and run the portable. So run the exe and then it should look like this. And then now we can go ahead and get our macro. So we can join the discord link will be in description. The discord looks like this. So once you're in the discord, we can scroll down the channels and then we can find the macro channel. So we're in macros, we can scroll all the way to the top of the channel, we'll see the hood macros. And then we want to scroll down just a little bit till we see TGM macro, and then we can go ahead and download the file here. So we'll download the file. So with this file, we can now import it into TGM macro, so we'll open it up, file, load project, and then we can go to our downloads and select the macro we just downloaded. So once we import it, it'll look like this. And then we can delete auto emo unless you have a little bit of IQ, then you can probably figure out what it does. And then we can enable the device here. We need to be fully skinny in the game for this to work. So we can go to our settings, scroll to the bottom, open up stats. And then at the top, there should be a bar here and make sure this is fully grayed out. If it isn't grayed out, we need to get skinny. So that means we can go to hood fitness here. And then there should be this thing called lettuce and then we can keep buying and eating this lettuce over and over again so you want to eat this for about five minutes or so and then you want to reset like i do on screen and then your character should show skinnier we can reopen the settings scroll down to the bottom and open up the stats and the strength should be updated the reason why we reset is so it updates if we don't reset we won't see any change in our character's skinniness we can check our FPS by pressing shift F5. If you don't have an F5 key on your keyboard, we can press FN shift five. Now we can go to settings, turn on low GFX, go to our Roblox settings now and turn graphics quality down to two. Now we can open up TGM macro, go to edit macro here. And then we can set our key by what we want. I use Q. And then you can select either hold or toggle. I like using hold. You guys can probably figure out what this is. And then save. And then we want to make sure the status is green. If it isn't, and then you can press this button until it turns green. And now we're ready to macro. Open up the emote wheel. And then we'll be using the moonwalk macro. I have it on my slot three, depending on what slot is what key you'll press on your keyboard. So I'm going to press three and I'm going to pull out a gun and put it away. Now, in order to macro, you need to hold two key binds down S and right click. Right click is to control where the macro goes left and right. And S is to move forward when macroing. So we hold these two at the same time. And as you can see, this is how the macro will be. And we'll zoom in with the mouse. So we zoom in and hold our macro key bind. So it's Q. If you guys have it on toggle, you guys will just tap Q once and then it'll turn on the macro, but I use hold, so I have to hold the key. Okay, so one more time, what we can do is open up the emote wheel. And then now I'll be showing you guys the young blood happier jump macro. So this is one, so I'll be pressing one on the keyboard, pull out a gun and put it away. And then now we can just hold S again and then hold right click to look around while we macro so hold s and right click zoom in with our mouse and then hold our macro key bind so we're basically holding three keys at the same time if you're experiencing a shaky or hard to control macro or really slow this is mostly due to bad fps the key is to get above 100 fps while macroing this should be the smooth spot another reason it might not work is because you might be trying to do it in shift lock make sure you're not in shift lock when doing this 
open task manager we can see how many cores we have if we have around four cores this is going to be the issue and we're going to need a better cpu we can see our base speed if that's low then that's going to be the issue with the amount of cores as well if you guys are having an fps issue you guys can go check out my other video optimize and boost your roblox fps this will give you guys hopefully a roblox boost in your fps resulting in a better and smoother macro hopefully this video worked for you guys that's going to be it we have a lot of people watching the videos who aren't subscribed make sure you guys are liking and subscribing every video and that's going to be it and i hope you guys have a good one